Follow me, I want to tell you a story. The fall so affected man. He affected man so much that the departure was too much for Adam to bear. And Adam began to give birth to children. And the children of Adam also began to procreate. So they continued to give birth and give birth until it came to the seventh man after Adam. And by then, Adam was 622 years. Mind you, Adam died at the age of 930. So Adam observed the generations before him up to the time of Methuselah. Methuselah was 60 years when Adam died. And as different offsprings were coming forth, they would sit down by the coal of fire because now they had to find ways to, 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 to create things that they have lost from the civilization that they were driven from. So they began to invent things. And they would sit down and Adam would tell them stories of what man was like. And it was one of his offspring that inquired the right way. So one guy called Enoch began to ask his ancestor Adam, tell his father questions. What was it like before we fell? And Adam found one whose inquisitiveness was calling for a dimension for restoration. And suddenly, big scripture began to tell us something. That as soon as Methuselah was born, he says, and Enoch walked with God. Walked with God. You see, something will happen in the house today while we speak. A restoration of manuscripts a restoration of blueprints that has been lost for many generations it will come back to your face Amen. the creature that was designed so that death will not have power over him but now when he fell the verdict became the day you eat this thing you will die and the verdict came to pass in the life of the adam but one of his seed carried the manuscript and domesticated the building plan and lived after that order and the Bible says he lived until he was not. Time could not contain him again. The transition based on the revelatory powers Adam gave to him. As he practiced these things, the earth could not hold him anymore. You can outlive the purity of the earth. The earth is a falling world already. There is a level of purity you attend to. That the earth no longer hosts you. So he says men of whom the world was not worthy. The earth will submit that I don't have the statue to host you. The president can want to pay a visit to your place and it will take some editing, some refurbishment, some kind of a renovation to happen in that territory just so that you can have the statue to host him. And so a man began to walk with God to an extent that time, time could not hold him again. And I'm sharing something and I want you to follow me. It was in Enoch. That was one of the first times we found out that the idea God always had was to enjoy more fellowship with man. So the end of your fellowship with God on earth is more fellowship. So you walk with God until you become closer to him again. Why, when they say he was not, that was the first typology of the rapture. The rapture that we are waiting for at the end of time. From the beginning, a man lived it out. Mind you, what I'm trying to share, if you pay attention, I'm trying to tell you, the rapture will not be decided from the heavens. It is the spirit and the bride that will say, come, Lord Jesus, come. And the spirit is in the earth. The bride is in the earth. Both parties are earth bound. It is the earth that will decide when the coming of Christ will be. By attaining unto a stature. If that stature has been attained, it is that stature that is the voice of saying, Come, Lord Jesus, come. And Enoch was the first person that preached that sermon. He animated it with his life. He attained a stature by which it was necessary for him to be raptured. 